Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about a tool called Hydra and what Hydra does and what does it do? Do you know? If you don't, don't worry. Watch till the end and we'll be describing and showcasing this tool in Kali Linux. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe and share. And if you guys are coming back for some fun and learning, let's have some fun. All right, guys. So what I'm going to be using today is Metasploitable 2 because it's easy, it's free. A lot of people can utilize this tool and this VM to learn. So let me pull that onto the screen right now. So let me uh, get out of here. So I'm at 192.168.99.7. That's my VM and that's Metasploitable as you can see here, right? So you can just import this. I imported to VirtualBox. This is what I'm using my lab in. I'm gonna pull it off to another screen and yeah. That's the, that's, the, that's the box that we're gonna be using for this demonstration to compromise or guess the passwords for an example for like, we're gonna use FTP for an example, right? There's so many services, SSH, Telnet, um, HTTP, whole bunch of services that you can utilize, but we're gonna keep it simple and just to demonstrate the, you know, a few different techniques, right? So the first thing I like to do is try to click, click inside my VM. So let's ping that machine, make sure it's up, and I'm able to ping it because I'm sitting in the same network. So I'm at 192.168.99.5, and my VM is at 7, so we're in the same broadcast domain. Cool. So what is Hydra, right? So let's, let's see if we can do what is Hydra. H Y P. <clears throat> So if you do what is, if you didn't know that, that's a cool little trick. I use it all the time because I don't know every tool. And if you just put what is Hydra, a fast network logging cracker, which supports many different services. So what are we going to try to crack today? We're going to try to crack FTP, make it simple, stupid, right? So with like the KISS method, right? So what we're going to do, what I did prior to making the video or starting the video I created a word list for my users and word list for my passwords. And it's the same exact thing. I copied and pasted. Um, you can use the rockyou.txt. You can use seclist. You can create your own word list, whatever you want to do. But for demonstration and simplistic sake, we're going to go ahead and use these, uh, these lists that I created for this video specifically. All right. So if I cat passwords, I just created, you know, whatever. I just copied and pasted. So MSF admin is the password for Metasploitable by default. If you guys are familiar with that, you know, with, with the tool, you should know that. And now let's go ahead and cat users. It's the same exact thing. Same, same exact thing I did. Okay. The reason being is just to, you know, make it simple. So the password and the username or the username and the password is going to be MSF admin, MSF admin. Remember, this video is strictly to understand what we're doing with this tool, right? And like it said, you know, it's pretty much, you know, a fast login network cracker. So the first things first, what we're going to do is try to guess the password for a specific user. Say, for example, we didn't know the password or we didn't know the user. Excuse me. <clears throat> we knew the user, sorry, we knew the user, MSF admin, but we don't know the password. So we have the passwords list. So if we do Hydra, I did, you know, run this, you know, I think the other day or something. So let's go ahead and we're going to go ahead and do the user. So we're going to do dash L and then users MSF admin. And so there's a little L and a, and a capital L. So the little L is specifically for a username and the capital L is for a user list. And we'll check that out in a second. And the capital P, as you can see here, is for a password list. And if you want to use specifically, specifically for a password when you don't know the username, you can use a user list and we'll do different combinations. Okay, we'll check that out shortly. And this is my IP address for the Metasploitable 2 box. And we're gonna do FTP, okay? Bada bing, bada boom, here we go. So this went and cracked, you know, it's running on port 21 because it's FTP, that's a TCP port. The IP address is at dot seven, the login is here, and then the password resided in this passwords.txt file. 
Okay, so that was the first method. I do have the different kinds of methods I want to use on a different screen. So if I'm looking over there, uh, excuse me. So that was to guess the password with a specific username. So what about if we want to guess the username with a specific password, the opposite. So now we can do that. We can say, okay, let's take this out of here. Let's take this all out. And we're going to do big L, big L. And then we're going to use users. TXT with a little p because we know the password but we don't know the username so msf admin msf admin and the same thing so there we go boom it guessed it we're, we're these great hackers right i'm not a great hacker i don't even know what i'm doing half the time i just guess and it, it works so but here we can see that the total opposite we did little l for the username Big L for the user list. Little P, little P. That's, that's what they call me in the hood. I'm just kidding. But, um, and then we have MSF admin for the username. And then we have the big P up here for, for the password list. Okay. So now, what if we want to brute force the username and the password? Like we don't know either or, right? So now let's go ahead and do that. We have the list here of the users. So here we're gonna go ahead and do big P and a password list, FTP and bada bing, bada boom, we got it. Okay, so one more thing we can do just for simplistic sake, say for example, you wanna save this for a pen test or if you wanna do like a write-up or something like that, you can actually put the results into an output file. So let's go ahead and do that once this finishes, or we don't really need to wait. Let's just go ahead and do Control C, Control L. So, because obviously it's gonna take a little longer because it's gonna go through each, you know, the list is not big. But now if I wanna put an output file, say for example, at uh, output, okay, dot txt. So now we'll let this, we'll let this do its thing. We'll see if it, uh, guesses the password, the username, password. And once this is done, we can see, okay, it's attacking FTP, boom, it found the credentials. Now it's gonna take some time to put this into an output file for our great notes, okay? So we'll let that do its thing. We'll give that a moment. And if you wanna learn more about this tool, you can just go out, let's go out to the interwebs really quick. And let's just go to Google. And we can just do HY Hydra Valley Linux cheat sheet. Let's see cheat sheet, for example. Let's see. Let's make this bigger. If you're blind like me, let's see the second one Hydra cheat sheet. Oh, this is actually pretty good. I like this. I want to actually gonna save this. I'll save this for uh, a rainy day. So, RDP, for example, if we're trying to brute force RDP, we can use user username text dot text, password dot text, and RDP colon, whatever. So this looks like it's using the default IP address from the NAT network on VirtualBox. So if you don't create a NAT network on VirtualBox, it's gonna give you this default IP address of 10.0.2.5. Just an FYI, just a side note. Okay, so SSH, say for example, we have the little L, we have the username, big P, for the password list. And then we're gonna go ahead and do it through SSH here. And they're going to do a uh, robust SMB, same concept, FTP. This is what we did. Um, let's see. This is pretty good. So you can utilize this and you can just save this as well and see, you know, this is actually pretty cool. But this is a, you know, a little cheat sheet for Hydra. And you can just Google some stuff if you want to learn more about the tool, right? And let's see if this thing is done. Okay, cool. This is done. So now I put it as Pat's output. Now I want to go ahead and take this and let's cat at output. No, not passwords. At output. And here we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Whoa. What the hell happened? What did I just do? Holy moly, I'm going crazy. All right. I didn't mean to do all that. Sorry, guys. All right. I'm back. <laughs> but that was crazy. All right. So let's go ahead and cat that out again. And we can see it here, this is our results. All right, so that's about it for this. 
So I want to thank you so much for viewing my video on Hydra. If you have any questions about this tool, feel free to hit me up on Discord, Twitter, Instagram, however you guys want to reach out to me and leave a comment in the description below if you have any questions and I'm sure someone can help you out. So thank you so much for viewing and until next time, have an awesome day.